Good morning from the Waldorf Astoria. We're they, back. We're back. They invited us back out because the last time we were here, Jen didn't get to get a massage because she was in the early stages of her pregnancy and they're like, no, we want Jen to have a massage. <laughs> so so they invited us back out now that I'm like cleared and I can actually have one. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a prenatal massage today. Yeah, and I'm gonna get like a salt stone massage. Oh, are you? Yeah. That sounds cool. It does sound cool. That's awesome. And then we are actually gonna have tea. So they have a Sunday tea in the peacock room yeah and we looked at the menu last time and it looked amazing and they said come out do tea so today's just gonna be like a nice day of kind of like pampering and relaxation yeah. and we're gonna meet up with some friends too and also jen has been editing for like hours upon hours upon hours so this is like a fantastic <laughs> break for you i literally last night i edited for like 14 hours so i'm excited for the neck part of the massage oh, yeah. that'll be nice <laughs> so let's go do it yeah here we go Heading into the spa. Oh, it looks fancy. I know I said this the last time we were here, but it does look fancy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I'm in my robe now, but I forgot that they have all this stuff here where you can get tea and some granola mix. Very nice, and this is a relaxing room. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys the couple's massage room. So Jen's gonna be over there. You can see they've set her table up a little bit different than mine where she has just a regular pillow, whereas me, Mine's just like a traditional massage table. And I'm getting a Himalayan hot stone massage. And I think they're underneath this. There they are, that's what's gonna be, they're gonna be using those to massage me. This ought to be interesting. I'm excited, we'll let you guys know after it's done how it was. There's me in my robe. Oh no, my shoes. They're making a funny noise. Later. All right, we're all done with our massages. Mm -hmm. Mine was amazing. It was so nice. Yeah, it is a little, oh. This camera does not do good in the low light with the focus. You okay. guys can't even see us. There we are. Maybe we'll finish the rest in the light. Yeah. Okay. Be prepared for the light. All right. It's time for the salt room. Yeah. And the last time I had the camera in here and I think I ruined the camera. So I'm going to leave it outside this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are all done with the massage and the salt room. The massage was fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. I did the Himalayan salt stone, the hot Himalayan halt, salt stone, I can't even say it, the hot Himalayan salt stones. Mm -hmm. So it was very similar to a hot stone massage, but the stones weren't as smooth as hot stone massage stones are. It's like, like tongue it's twisters. Not a, it's not like a pebble. Right. Okay. It's more uh, textured. Because it is, it's made of salt. I think, and that probably has some kind of like good properties for the it skin. It's like for detoxifying. Mm. Yeah. Nice. And the only part that I felt slightly uncomfortable it wasn't really uncomfortable it was like ticklish it was <laughs> on the bottom of my feet whenever you do a hot stone massage because they're smooth you don't it's not ticklish but because these were a little bit textured it was like ticklish on the bottom of my feet oh yeah and then i did the prenatal massage so it was uh i was kind of like turned to the side and it was really nice yeah. she focused on my neck and my shoulders and my like neck and my neck and my shoulders basically i don't know it was really good i needed that because when i edit i do this thing where i kind of like am like a turtle <laughs> And so she kind of helped to like really stretch my neck, which was really good. And me, because I hold the camera out and I wear a backpack all the time, she like really went underneath my shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Did a good job. But it was a nice, um, I don't know, it was a really nice, I mean, a massage was always a really nice experience, but it just feels very luxurious here. Yeah. It's just, because it's the Waldorf, it's just very, I don't know, it's just like a level above. Yeah. So. Oh, by the way, we're in the Tranquility Lounge right now where yeah. they have like, they have wave the chairs. loungers and stuff. Well, these are the chairs that they have on like the Disney cruise. Yeah, but, but the like, ones on Disney cruise are, are heated and made of like tile, whereas oh, are these, these are just not soft. Heated? No. Oh, I thought they were heated. Well, they're still nice. Um, and then they also have some spicy trail mix. Yeah, best thing after a massage, <laughs> spicy trail mix. I've been craving spicy stuff. Oh, it just got real bright outside. So the next thing that we did was the salt room, which is really interesting because basically like you're in a room that's made of Himalayan salt, mm -hmm. floors <clears throat> covered in Himalayan salt, and then they put a like fan on that blows Himalayan salt on you. You can taste it. Yeah, you can see some on Jen's shoulder over oh, here. Oh yeah, that's the salt. And it's also, you can like, I feel, I could like feel it in my nose and I yeah. could feel like my eyes got a little bit dry. Um, but you can definitely feel that you are getting the salt inside of you. And it's basically like going out to the beach. Yeah. Like you're just, salt air, I don't know what it is about salt air, but it like yeah. clears you out, makes you feel good. It's good for your skin yeah. and stuff. I feel like whenever I go to the beach, my like nails grow faster and all that weird stuff. I feel like Jimmy Buffett sings about it, how he's like, salt air makes you feel fine. It does. It's really good for you, I feel like. Yeah. But it was um, just really nice and relaxing and they turn the lights down and it's just really, I don't know, it was just a relaxing experience. Yeah. 
and we threw salt at each other. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not what you're supposed to do, but we're children, so. <laughs> but it was, no, it was just nice to have like, because it was like a 30 minute little session, so it was just nice to be able to like sit and like chat for 30 minutes and yeah. just, oh, and it also helps clear out your sinuses. Yeah, which I've had a, like a little bit of an allergy attack the last few days and it's like, I'm clear now. Yeah, Feel I've good. been, and I've been feeling since we came back from California, I kind of had the same thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just a nice feeling. And now we're going to go have tea with our friends. It's time for tea. I'm very excited for this tea menu because we looked at it the last time we were here and we just didn't, we couldn't do it because it's only on Sundays. The tea menu looks delicious and our friends that we're meeting are vegan. So I'm really curious to see what they do for them because yeah. the actual tea menu didn't look very vegan. So we'll see what we get. Yeah. Yeah. We got to our table in the peacock room for tea and look at it. It's all decorated with baby all over it. I love it. And then it says, oh baby on the table here. So and there's a little cool. gift. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? I love it so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Look at the teacups. They're like peacocks because this is in the peacock room. How much fun is that? This is like way fancier than I thought it was going to be, but I love this. Oh. oh, and then we're here with Nicole and Jim will be joining us um, shortly, but we're just going to have like a really lush day, I think. And they're playing some Disney music on the piano too. Um, last time we were here, you guys remember we played like Name That Tune? Name it. Do you know what it is? You'll be in my heart? Well, I wanted them to oh. name it. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that, did you? So the Waldorf has a little present sitting at the table for us. What is it? It says, to the soon-to-be parents, wishing you all the very best with your expected new arrival. It's from the Waldorf team. Oh. And actually, um, the last time we were here, we met one of the, um, like the PR girls and she was pregnant. And I think she... She's on maternity leave right now. Yeah. So oh, it's like a little... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty adorable. That's adorable. So cute. It's one of those the the rattle rings. It's like a. Oh, well that's fun. Hold on, I'm like, there we go. It's like a stacking ring game. I love it. I didn't know they made those. It's really soft too. So cute. Thank you, Waldorf Astoria. This is awesome. Oh look, the menu says congratulations, Tim and Jen. I didn't even see that. So he brought over the cart with all of the different teas that we can choose from on it. And then they have cups on top full of the loose leaf tea so you can smell them and see what they smell like and which one you'd like. We picked out our teas from the tea cart and they put them inside of the little loose leaf steepers and each person gets their own steeper and their own pot and we're gonna have tea. Sorry, it's like really tricky. Oh no. <laughs> He's ready for tea. Oh yeah. That was fancy. <laughs> Here's our timers. So we're all doing black tea, so we have to be between two and two and a half minutes. So as soon as the white sand runs out and then a little bit of the teal sand, then we'll just Take our things out. Ooh, tea time. I think it's time for me to add. Did you already pour yours, Jen? Do you happen to see the silverware? It's called goldware. I, w I was like, I didn't even notice. This is so fancy. Did you already pour your tea? No, do I put my sugar in first and then pour my tea? No? no. Okay. Ooh. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all this. Holy cow. The one with little orange slice is going to be a bread with a slice of carrot, a little bit of cranberry shredded carrot, and then uh, looks like edible flowers as well. Um, in the center is going to be a guacamole with watermelon radish and a little bit of basil as well. Next to that is going to be an olive uh, tapenade with um, olive mushroom, red bell pepper, and a little bit of pequeno pepper as well and a little bit of microgreens on top. And then out from there is going to be our um, fresh
fresh sliced uh, tomato sandwich with a bit of dairy, uh, dairy free cream as well, with a bit of microgreens. And then next to that is going to be a slice of yellow bell pepper with a hummus base, scallions, watermelon, radish, and sliced carrots. Wow. And for you, Mrs. Trapper, it's going to be the second tier for you, all unpasteurized milk, make sure everything like that is going to be safe for you this afternoon. So we have, on this side, we have our turkey and carrot cake. It's actually a bit tofu, actually. There we go. So they, they switched it up. <laughs> and then, next to that, it looks like a little bit of tofu as well, a little bit of olive tapenade base. Next to that is going to be our apple and cucumber finger sandwich again, but they use an herbioli instead with um, a little bit of sliced cherry tomato. And then next to that is going to be our egg salad sandwich. And then next to that will be our, looks like a little bit of different tofu this afternoon as well, with a little bit of pakeo pepper. The pepper isn't spicy, it's just savory. And then on top is going to be sliced olives. And next to that is going to be our chicken curry salad with sliced grapes and a bit of microgreens as well. And then on top for you, Mr. Tracker, is our traditional setup that we have for tea as well. So we have our smoked salmon and tomato with a little bit of herbioli and diced scallions. Next to that is going to be our carrot cake and uh, turkey with a little bit of cranberry cream cheese glaze and edible flour on top. And then next to that will be our <clears throat> chicken curry salad with sliced grapes and microgreens. And then we have our black forest ham piquillo pepper with sl uh, sliced olives, our classic egg salad sandwich, and then finally our apple cucumber finger sandwich with uh, sliced cherry tomatoes and herb maple. I forgot to tell them that I don't eat fish. So they brought me out some smoked salmon. I don't think I've ever had this before. So I'm gonna eat it first in case I hate it. And then I can like wash the rest of it, wash the taste out with something else. <laughs> I tasted like a lot of tomato. <laughs> I thought it was good. Didn't taste anything like any fish that I've ever had. <laughs> what are you eating first? It's olive tapenade with, I want to say it's an apple. I don't know, it's crunchy, whatever it is, it's crunchy. Is that tofu? Yeah, I think that's what he said. Let me see the inside of it. Yeah, it was either tofu or turkey. But if it's crunchy, Really good though. It almost tastes like apple. That's strange because the one that's apple is apple and cucumber. Hmm. I don't know, I really like it. Oh. But I thought that this one was delish. This is the carrot cake one. I think mine has a radish. I just think it looks cute. Please be serenaded by the piano version of Hotel California. I like it. This one is a little spicy. Actually, it's not. It just smells spicy. It's the paquito pepper. It tastes really good, though. Hmm. Should I just eat the rest? Like, is that too big of a bite? No, that's right. I like how you were looking at it so quizzically. You're like, what is this thing? I don't know. I'll, I'll, pray. I'll, I'll interpret these motions. This is delicious. I love it. Oh my goodness. Everybody should come here and try this one specific sandwich. All of them. All of them. This is so good, you guys. This is such a nice way to spend the day. Like if you're looking on, if you're here on vacation or if you live here, or you're just looking to have like a nice time, come do this. It just feels good. We have not had a bad meal at the Waldorf. Love too is that like so Tim he's our server today he was our server the last time we were here and he totally remembered everything about us he remembered that we came here but he remembered that we did the spa he remembered that we went to bowl on the bear like he just they the service is just like amazing and it makes me want to come back like tomorrow can we do this again <laughs> yeah but they're here every Sunday, so he's here every Sunday. And you should ask for Tim. He's great. This is Garth Brooks on piano. During tea. <laughs> Blueberry and cranberry scones. Look at that. That is beautiful. A lot of people were wondering what scones are, and this is kind of a really good representation of it. They look like our biscuits, but they're sweet. And they brought us out some different jams, some cream and some lemon curd. These jams on the end are like a mix between blueberry and blackberry, clotted cream, and then lemon curd. Yes. I'm excited. So we did high tea when we were in England, and I just, the one thing that I loved was the clotted cream. Like it's, it's so good. Dessert has arrived. Oh, and it says oh baby on the top too. Yeah. Holy macaroni. So in the glass is going to be a pineapple clementine panna cotta with a dairy-free cream, 
and a little bit of uh, little micro beads as well. Very good. Um, the ones on the end, it looks like the layered cake. It's actually strawberry shortcake. So sorry, the the battery died when he was giving the descriptions of everything, but this whole row is all vegan stuff. It looks so good. Look, you guys, it's Arabelle Aqua. Oh yeah. They're like on brand. Oh yeah. And then this is all of our stuff up here. And this stuff. Raspberry and chocolate. And I think this was probably a carrot cake. And then a little tart here. And I have no idea what that is, but it looks good. Pistachio. Oh yeah, pistachio. Ooh, perfect. Jen saw the strawberry shortcake on the vegan row and said, I want that. And so they brought her out. They were very nice and they did that, I think, special for us. But it just, it looks like our wedding cake. So I wanted to try it. Look at the little gold flecks in this tort. That looks so fancy. I think of all the desserts, my favorite was the vegan shortbread, the strawberry shortcake. This was so good. It wasn't too sweet. I'm probably eating it wrong, but it's very good. You're doing great, Sweaty. They brought us out a special dessert. It says congratulations, trackers. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it looks like Mickey Mouse. So th that was delicious and amazing. It was. It was actually, we were talking to our server a little bit about like the other teas that we've done in Orlando. Well, I guess we've only done the one at Grand Floridian, right? Right. But I just think that this, this tea experience was really like elevated. Yeah. And it just was more, I don't know, it just felt like more luxurious, if that makes sense. Yeah. I felt like they really took the time to understand what the teas were and like he answered all so many questions about what each tea was mm -hmm. and what was in each one and actually how they produced the different flavors within the different teas. Yeah. And he let us smell the different flavors. I actually, I thought that was really cool that we got to smell them all because that's not something that we've done at, a, at the teas before. Yeah. So we did like high tea when we went to England and it was a totally different experience there right. as well because I feel like it's more... Everybody does tea, mm -hmm. you know, so it was kind of more of just like, oh, you're here for tea. Right. Kind of an experience. Whereas this was like an experience. Right. Yeah. And it did. It took kind of a long time. Our reservation was at two and we left there at 530. <laughs> Which he kind of, he mentioned he's, and then they do ask, you know, like, are you in a rush? Do you need to, do you need this to be a more expedited, you know, thing? And we wanted to like take our time and hang out with our friends and really enjoy the tea, like the relaxation part of it. Right. Yeah. And it was fantastic. And the food was delicious. Did you have a favorite sandwich? Uh, I actually really liked the carrot cake. Yeah? Yeah. So Tim got the traditional menu and then everything that I got was the traditional menu, but it was um, pasteurized like cheeses and sauces and stuff. Yeah. And then our friends got all vegan. And so we all sort of got similar things, mm -hmm. but I really, you know which one I really liked? What? Was the one with the olive tapenade. Oh yeah, that Did one you was have good that too. One on yours? Yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I thought that one was really, really nice. And then I also liked, I had a couple of things that had like apple slices. Yeah. So it was a really nice, like, sweet and salty, like crisp, and uh, like the texture was really nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those a lot. And then the desserts were fantastic. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. So I really liked, and I didn't think that I was gonna like it as much, but I really liked the curried chicken. Yeah. Yeah, that was good too. Did you have that one too? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that one was like, I I don't know. I think I just like curry now that I'm pregnant. Oh, that's funny. I know. It's so weird, but it was really good. And the desserts were really good. Yeah. It was And everything, nothing was overly sweet on the dessert menu. It was sweet, but not overly sweet. Which it's not a bad thing not to like say anything bad about like a super sweet dessert because it's dessert. Like it's supposed to be sweet. Right. But these relied more on like the complex flavors rather than just the sugars, if right. that makes sense. Right. So like my favorite thing, my favorite dessert that we had was actually one of the vegan desserts. Yeah. And it was, I asked for it special. I was like, so I really like this one vegan dessert. Do you think I could try it? And they brought one out for us, but it was the strawberry shortcake. Yeah. But it was like a scone with a fresh strawberry and then like either an almond or a soy like whipped cream. Right. And it was not sweet at all. Like it wasn't, it was just the sweetness of the fruit. Right. And it was so good. Yeah. It was so simple. Yeah. And it really did remind me of our wedding cake. Because oh, our yeah. wedding cake had like fresh strawberries and it was just like a, a really like soft white cake. <laughs> it was so good. But it was, I don't know, I just liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 
So all in all, a fantastic experience. It really was. And they had so many teas to choose from. Yeah. Like you could have a real adventure if you like, like try, you know, trying different teas and stuff. Yeah. So once again, thank you to the Waldorf for having us out. Yeah. And uh, with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. My name is Julieta. I'm from Argentina. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>